I'm Hard Gone. Welcome back to episode 33 of this Pokemon Sacred Gold Egg Lock Challenge. In the last episode, we searched up Route 27, 26, and all that, and uh, got our first steps into the Kanto region. And uh, now we're trying to head on over to Victory Road, try getting through it, and making it to the Pokemon League for the end of this episode. So that's the plan for today. So if you're excited to see today's episode, see today's episode be sure to pick up that like button down below and all that good stuff, because your support is always greatly appreciated. And uh, so let's just keep getting right into it. Uh, last episode, we also got a bunch of uh, encounters. I think we have like about four or five egg hatches to do once we get to a Pokemon Center and get to the PC. So that's pretty high stuff right there. So hopefully we can try doing all those egg, or egg hatches and all that uh, by the end of this episode. Because, well, unless there's a Pokemon Center before Victory Road. I'm actually not sure. This can be my as I pointed. Of course, I miss my fly right there. Okay, he has ice point, so I'm gonna champ in close combat. It's like there's no point. This Ambipom literally got legit four hacks or two hacks in a row. That's not cool. Wow. Ice, he froze and paralyzed me. What? Are you kidding me? Pop Leo's dead. Oh, I forgot about that. Pop Leo did die in the last episode. So we're gonna go around Pardos. Hopefully, the group is gonna take care of it. I, we do still have to get another uh, replacement for our... <gasps> oh my god! That was not good. What the heck? That is not cool. Very not cool. Oh gosh. Okay, this... Hand Palm uh, hopefully doesn't have, like, some crazy move. Or I can kill it. Yes, it did. Okay. Oh my gosh. This battle was a little too close for comfort. Okay, here comes an Ampharos. I'm actually going to J. Okay, hopefully Ampharos doesn't have like a quick or earth power or something. So I can just uh, fire punch it. Can I get a burn? What? Are you kidding me? Are you being serious? This dude got the, like, the most hacks I've ever seen in a game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. Three sacks, pair of hacks, and then static. I was going for the sweet too, but I'm gonna kill it because it's for Bell Boost. Alright. <laughs> that, that trainer is cancer. That trainer is literally cancer right there. Oh my gosh. Alright, good thing uh, there was also a house right there that we saw. In the last episode, it's literally a house right here that keeps our Pokemon, so we don't have to use a bunch of full heals and potions and waste all our stuff before the Elite Four. So, <laughs> I need to do some off-game training after this episode. Yeah, well, once we make it to the Pokemon League, I'm going to train my Pokemon to like level 55 or 60. Probably like more around the 60s levels. Uh, or I don't know, I need to look up the Elite Four's levels first, like the champion. Cause I don't know what what the levels are, like what the level cap is. I don't want to be above the level cap, but I don't want to be like five levels under the champion, and then we just get wrecked by anything he has against us. Or be like you know, Giovanni 2.0 with his Needle King that body is like a whole team. But other than that, we're pretty good though. Rocking these little people, get them so luxury. I'm so glad Uber Blaze learned that. Or did we teach him that? I think he learned it, which is really good for us. Oh, unless he has Ice Fang, oh, this isn't stabbed, so it's all good. Ours isn't stabbed either, but it's still killing. Not bad at all. Are we going to be two coming through? I right, hear there's a Blaze King. Uh, actually, we have Sir Knight. We don't have a Water type. We don't have a Ground type. We do have a Rock type. Maybe so we can do too much with the Blaze. I should have saw that coming. So I just hope we do more damage. There we go. All right, cool. I don't know why I use strength. <laughs> I just want an opportunity to use strength at least once. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I think this might be the last battle until we make it to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the gate to Victory Road. It was actually pretty dang cool, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, what is it? Last, last episode, I, I thought of a quest on the day for you guys, which was about the seven gym game. Uh, I don't know what I want this, this quest on the day will be. It would, it would kind of be a little uh, irrelevant if I made a question today what I wanted to be. Okay, didn't too much. But, uh... Holy flinch. Why did the fire thing not do too much? I'm 
He's using agility. Wow. He missed. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> that that torf is actually really scaring me. Okay, here's another cam. Uh, I actually can stand and fly this right here. Unless it has ice punch and screws us over. And a high jump kick. Oh, get wrecked. Sweet. Alright, cool. But yeah. Uh, you know what? Forget I said anything about question today. I'll, I'll think of something later. <laughs> Alright, but I'm not gonna give him my phone number. And I think, yeah, that's, that was the last gym. I right, hopefully don't, we don't have to face, like, face up against any, uh, opponents or rivals, because I need to heal up a little bit. Alright, got the eight badges. Give me my stuff, dude. This is t the way to mount silver. Something like that. Yeah. We have to go there after. That's, like, at the end of the game for the finale. This place is... I have no idea. This is the Kanto, but we have... We can't go to the Kanto region yet. Nope. Okay, let's check my Pokemon. Sir Knight, or I mean, I mean, uh... Hopalio cannot be used, which is really sad, but... Oh well. Alright, we step foot in the victory road. Let's go. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is gonna be our first encounter as well. Uh... I do have my stuff to write down. Everything. And this is our first encounter. Hopefully it's something good. Survey says a bronze on. Oh, I wish I had it. I wish I was able to catch this and use it. I love bronze on. Okay. So considering we can catch this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and use Psycho Cut. It shouldn't be too much at all. Oh, nothing at all. Uh I actually get more of a nice gyro wall. I'm not able to do jack squat board before like fire punch or something. Oh, I forgot about future set. Okay, I'm using good drinks because that's really too much. Heat. Okay. Alright, so now we can try catching it. We have about three or four turns to try catching it before we see it kills his bronze on off. Hopefully we can catch it on our first try. I should have probably been I wish I had sleep on or something. One, two. Nope, no, no. Okay. Just go ball to chat squat. Okay, oh my gosh, I think this is our last turn to catch it. I'm using ultra ball. Yes, I got him. All right, so that's our fourth. So this is going to be our fourth egg swap that we got. So victory road, it's a level 45. All right. Ninja Pokemon believe petitioning Bronzong and rain for rain was the way to make crops grow. Bronzong for crops. Hashtag Bronzong for crops. <laughs> okay. Let's go in and swap this guy out. He's, I don't know why they're all in the dead PC. Okay, let's keep on going though. Use strength. Good thing I taught so nice strength. He's gonna go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Since we got our encounter, I'm gonna go ahead and use a max repel. Because I don't, I can't be bothered right now. I'll go ahead and do all my off-cam training against Wild Pokemon later on. Oh, we start to do that fault, that claw fossil. Oh, we have to revive that one too. Shoot. And then that's another egg. And yeah, that's another egg swap. All right, we'll do that after we get through Baby Road. I, I guess. Uh, actually, I think this is the Victor Road where there's not one trainer. Yeah, there's no trainers in this Victor Road, and you, the only battle you do is at the end of it, where you take on your rival. So I guess we should be ready. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of afraid to face Ginger. Because this is the final battle against them, so I expect them to be really strong. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back and heal up one last time. So, uh, I guess we don't have to pause the video. Okay, so while we're doing that, a little real talk. Um, this is gonna be completely off topic, and I'm probably gonna make this a question of the day. But uh, let's see. I've been watching the Olympics a lot lately because it is going on right now, and <laughs> I don't know, it's just pretty fun. Like the day I'm recording this, it is like the finals for basketball, and like basketball is one thing I've been keeping up with pretty much. Well, that's the thing I've been keeping up with the most on the Olympics. So I don't know. I guess I'll make the question today: Have you been keeping up the Olympics? If so, what's your favorite event? I think I'll probably make that. It's like a little chill, laid back. Like, not focused on Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. Unless we can think of something else. I think that'll make that question a bit. But yeah, my favorite event. 
probably basketball. Well, my favorite event to watch is basketball. I don't know. I just, I just got, I recently got into it like a year ago. And so now, yeah, I just like watching it now. Um, track and field, I always love watching those, just because I used to compete in track and field events whenever I was like in middle school or something. I was a sprinter, 200, 100 meter dash boy. <laughs> Uh, I was okay in middle school. Mm, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Because I was able to co compete in like events, and I didn't come last, so <laughs> good enough for me. I would usually come around like second to fourth or fifth. Yeah, I would say second to fifth. Like around, I would never come to first, but I, wasn't, I was always in the upper half of things. Okay, thank you. Did our max recover off? Oh, I probably did. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the something you probably never. I don't think I've ever said that in a video about what I about the track and field stuff. <laughs> you know more about me now. Um. All right. So now we made it back into Victory Road. Uh, like I said, there's no trainer battles, which was actually one thing I kind of actually did like about this, just because. I don't know, it makes it easier to get through this place. It is kind of pointless though. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I kind of like it, but it does seem a little pointless to not have any trainers. But if you are in a rush, <laughs> then I guess you, this victory room is like, really, you would really like this victory room. Uh, someone told me there's a hidden item over here. Those items were up fast, and I got, just got two max revive. Alright, so we don't have any more we don't have any more repels, so we're gonna be running into a bunch of mob block. So which is actually a pretty good training. Let's so do some ghetto training over here. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be a long way. This is gonna be a long way, guys. <laughs> if Pokemon appear every three steps, this is gonna be a long way to not bad. Okay. So nice level 51, not bad. Let me just keep on walking. Oh, I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> I don't want to run into any wild Pokemon. Watch, whenever I run, that's when I'm gonna uh, run into wild Pokemon. Dang! I just went through that whole place without running into Pokemon. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, let's go down here. And let's see what we're doing. Where are we at? Okay, there's a wild Pokemon. Not bad. Yeah, actually, all these Pokemon are actually good training for my Shinai. If I really wanted to, I can train up Rocky as well. Well, I guess only against Machoke. Against Golbats? Well, Rocky has Ice Fang to kill Golbats, so yeah, the Pokemon is actually good training for Rocky as well. They have Hariyamas! Hariyama! <laughs> oh, man. man that was a crit, crit out of here, Hariyama. I'm sorry. You know what? I don't know why. I do not know why Hariyama isn't my... Uh, isn't the Pokemon mascot for my gym. I really don't know why. Well, oh, I, I kind of do know why, because Bulba used to be my name on the channel. Until I added Harigama to it, because Bulba Elite League, Bulba Elite League used to be my name, so Bulbasaur would be my mascot. But now it's just Harigama. That's what you guys know me as now. And... I don't know. I don't know why I have... I don't, kinda don't wanna change it because I really like Bulbasaur still, but I don't know if I wanna change my mascot to Hariyama. It, Hariyama would be like a really unique mascot that I don't think anybody would have. <laughs> Cause, yeah. You never know, really, whenever you think of a, uh, like a mascot for somebody, you don't really think about. You don't really like. Hariyama doesn't come to mind like, oh, I want him as my mascot. He's so cool. His arms just look so rad. <laughs> you don't think about that. But now, since it is unique, I really am a fan of having uniqueness on my channel. I kind of would consider having uh, Hariyama as my channel mascot. I don't know. That's something to think about right there. That is something to think about. Bulbasaur or Hariyama? Or maybe both. Just we can have Hariyama with a... <laughs> get Hariyama with Photoshop with Bulbasaur on his hand or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's Joy's right there. I don't know. I think I would be down. I'd use Hariyama as my background, or as my mascot. But it would be... 
I kind of don't want like a sudden change. I don't know. You must be already close. I'm gonna refresh your Pokemon. Oh, I actually need that because we're about to battle Ginger. But yeah. Which I think if I were to change my mascot, I would have to change my intro as well. Which would kind of suck because uh, Bulbasaur is in my intro. So. Well, actually, not my Minecraft intro. The one that Carver made for me. Can I not escape those? Okay, we're about to take some Shadow Sleeves. Okay, there we go. And. Yeah, I'd have to sh only change the one that I made myself. If I wanted to change Hariyama as my uh, mascot. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright. This should be one last battle before we take on. Actually, I'm gonna break it. This should be the last battle before we take on Ginger. So I'm actually kind of afraid to take on Ginger right now. Because he was pretty dang hard the last time we battled him. And here we go. <laughs> oh gosh. Cool. Are you going to challenge the Pokemon League? Victory was at the end for sure. But did you notice? You didn't see any real trainers on the way, did you? Man, they were all spineless. Well, the fact that you have come this far means you're not one of them, but your journey ends here. Because right here, right now, I'll crush you. There weren't any trainers at all. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> there was no trainers whatsoever in this. Alright, but now it's a 6v6 Wi-Fi battle. And first of all, my school. Of course he has the advantage of me. And plus, actually it's not 6v6, because I only have 5 or 1, technically. Okay, so he's gonna use a flying type move. I could go into jail. No, 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 he's half flying type, but not about that. I could go into Rocky. I'm actually really afraid of what this hot spring is gonna do against me. Um, he's gonna go back. Which, how much is that gonna do? Oh my gosh, it's not even a creep. I have Thunder Fang. We can do we can rock with Thunder Fang. Can I get a pair of hacks? Can I be, get the hacks for once in my life? <laughs> Alright, it's a 2k. Oh we flinch! We got the flinch hacks! I'll take that, I'll take that. Alright, yes! Okay. Okay, I got some luck. I'm lucky now. I'm lucky today. I'm feeling lucky. Alright, one good one down, five more to go. So now it's five and five. It is kind of even, but my Pokemon did take a little bit of damage now. He goes for Alligator. I know he wants to be okay. For Alligator, actually, I can go into J. I can go into J and Thunder Punch it. I wasn't going to Uber for this and Uber Man or Spell Dance, but I know for Alligator has Ice Cream, which is kind of scary. But I don't think for Alligator has anything that's my J, though. So I'm going to go into Uber Punch it. It's not the SP, it is that. But he is going a little higher than me. Oh, this is a starter, that's why. Okay, please tell me you don't have... What are the odds? It's not stab. It's not stab. Jay is bulky. Yes! Okay. If he had Aqua Jet, I'd be so bad. <laughs> okay. He's rather good with Earthquake. Of course he had Earthquake. Why wouldn't Dreyano put, like, something to have? Why wouldn't Dreyano put something to kill my, like, Electrofire with? <laughs> Big of this wrong hack really is trying to kill you. <laughs> okay, here comes the Alligator Dam. Literally, the only thing we can do is go into Sir Knight. Oh, we can go into Rocky, but. Actually, no, I'd rather go into Sir Knight and uh, try Shadow Sneaking. Just because uh, Alligator Dam, I don't know what he's gonna have. No, Alligator Dam is gonna have Shadow Ball. We learned this in the last episode. Oh, shoot. We can't switch out now, though. Can't switch out. I just hope that we can have a Shadow Ball from an Alakazam. Unless the Shadow Sneak kills it. Come on, come on. Oh no. I'm gonna be Shadow Ball. Psychic. It's stab, but I don't think it'll kill us. Okay, sweet. I right, give a Shadow Sneak this guy away. Oh god, you're gonna have Shadow Ball. You are that screwed up. Okay. So, half of this team is done. We have a monster to my head. Progress. A little bit of progress. You're gonna be Gengar. Oh, y'all. Okay, Gengar. It could have. Can it have Psychic? I know it could have Focus Blast. Uh, I kinda wanna go into Champ and just like. Blaze kick it. 
game right now? Let's quit. I don't even know what. I don't even know anymore. What do you think I have that hurt my champ? Like a flying type move or a second type move? I really don't know. I'm gonna play some people. Oh man, I'm actually really nervous about this game, bro. Can I okay it? No. It's just gonna stab a wall. I should be able to do that. Should be able to do that. Yeah, I guess, I guess ghost types... I guess, uh... Ghost types actually hurt fighting types. But fighting, I thought ghost types couldn't, couldn't hit fighting or normal types, but I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go like the fire. Oh, it's gonna have ice points. Oh, well, that's where our body's almost everywhere. I believe that we can live at least one ice point from an electivire. That's, that's my belief right there. Go and break power. This is my light screen, okay? We should probably set up a weak seed then. I'm gonna try setting up on us. Oh god. So he does outspeed me, which is pretty bad. Earth power does two TPO since of that because of that light screen, so I'm going to weak seed. I saw that ice punch coming, but I will even move it. Come on. It's not stabby dude. Oh we, oh we can take two of those. Let's go. I'll take it. Does as much as my earth power. But with PC, I do have a slight advantage over it, so I'm gonna keep on earth powering it. Please don't get what I think you're gonna get. It starts with a C, but I don't wanna see it. Oh, yes! Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on earth powering. This should actually kill it after a leech seed damage. Hopefully. Oh, no. Which I always special defense. Oh, nice. Okay. I think we're all on like 1 HP. I kinda gotta heal up right now. I actually think, uh, does Ginger heal himself up too? He doesn't heal himself, so he's just gonna heal I think there's no guy in the next game. Sweet. Okay, this is the last Pokemon. We haven't lost any Pokemon yet. Who is it? Magmortar. Are you serious? Are you serious? Actually, Sir Knight could come in and strength it. But I am afraid of what he can have against me. I actually don't know, like, Flamethrower, Solar Beam, Thunder. Uh, he might have Shadow Ball. Oh, he might have Shadow Ball. That's not good, not good when he heals. Let's see what he wants to use against me. Fire Blast. Oh, it's Stab, but hopefully I can get at least two of those. That's not Fire Blast is TPO. I just gotta hope that he misses Fire Blast that we want to. Come on, miss your Fire Blast. Miss your Fire Blast. You only have five people on Fire Blast. Are you, are you seriously gonna hit all of them? You're seriously gonna hit all of Fire Blast. That's his fourth Fire Blast in a row. Are you serious? Alright, that should be the last Fire Blast. And he missed it. Okay, good. So now we can strength it. What? Man, Mortar outspeeds me. What? What are the odds? So nice. Come on. <laughs> Alright, come on. Right, my attack is raised, so one strength should kill it. I get, I get off the strength. Can I kill it in one strength? Come on. I believe in you, Sir Knight. You have plus two from Swagger. You got too much Swagger for this Man Mortar. You got too much Swagger. Too much Swagger for the Man Mortar. Let's go. Alright, so that kill it off, and we defeat Ginger without losing any Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go. Though I did have to resort to, uh, whatchamacallit, healing, spam healing with Moon Remote, but, I mean, I don't know what, we, what else we could have done. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, you'll be with all my power, blah blah blah, you lost, so anything you say is irrelevant. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Okay, let's keep on going. Lyra was calling it. Fine, I'll answer you this one last time. You know, your dad thinks you'll become a terrible train someday, Harry. What am I saying? I'm starting to sound like the professor. Well, do your best. Call you again sometime. So, she's pretty much my groupie. She just called me to admire me. And, uh... 
we do have five minutes left in this episode, so we actually could get some stuff done and, uh, whatchamacallit, hatch the eggs for the rest of this episode. So we can try doing that. Let me check. Okay, so yeah, we have exactly four egg hatches to do. And if we really wanted to, we can fly back to... Uh, where do we heal? Where do we revive our fossils? We can actually get a fifth one. Uh, let's just do four right now. Alright, yeah, let's just do... Let's just do finish all the four, and then I guess we can do the other ones off of cam next time. Okay, so this was not a swap egg. This one's Indominus. These are the uh, illegal ones. So which ones are dead? Okay, these are swaps. Let's move all the swaps down here. Okay, so the first one was a level 31. I want to organize all these so I know where to write them down. Okay, so let's swap the Goldie first. Oh, and we have to put Pop Leo up here. That's another thing to do. <laughs> Get another water type. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I think we start off in box 1. But actually, I want to go back to here in box 7. These are all the newest eggs that you guys sent in. And uh, I just want to hatch one more egg in this box because... Yeah, this box finally filled up. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. And it's row 5, column 3. Which is actually like one of the last ones. <laughs> so row 5, column 3. Boom! We got Bush holding nothing. Right? Yeah, it's holding nothing. Okay. Just Bush. Uh... What can this be? What's a Bush? Is this like a Tangler or something? Is this like a Tangela? <laughs> That's what my guess, a Tangela? We'll find out. Survey says... Abra! Alright, Bush the Abra. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and go here. Type in Abra. Bush. Like George Bush or something? No. <laughs> okay. Right, let's check out Abra. Abro. Check its stats. Let's go into fourth generation. And see if this is a legit move set. He has teleport. What else does he have? Teleport and barrier. Barrier is an egg move, so that's 100% legit. Alright. I'll take it. He will be kind of hard to train up on, though. He gets... Uh... Nah, he won't be hard, because I have to level him up to level 31 of the rare candy, so he'll be evolving by then. And then... I don't know how to evolve out of in this game. I forgot the item. Oh well. Okay, let's keep on going over here. Uh, the second backup box. He is 100% legit. Uh, let's actually check his... Synchronize is his move, or is his ability, which is legit as well. Okay. So let's get Weasel, Weebly, and let's go into box one now. We're starting over in box one. Wow. So we roll four, column four, which is where that cynical is, so not gonna work. We roll. Row one, column one, the very first row. Alright. Bam. A tractor holding the master ball. I'll take that. Oh, I have to go. Okay. Let's return, and let's take that Master Ball. Shoot. Don't we have two Master Balls now? No, I used my other Master Ball on oh, so we got our Master Ball back. Sick. A Tractor. Tractor. I don't know why I think of Rhyperior every time I see Tractor. I don't know. Actually, let's check. Okay, so it's A Space Tractor. It's all- it's two words. My guess is gonna be like a Rhyhorn or something. I don't know. Survey says a shiny Baneri. <laughs> what? That's unique. I'll give it that. That is unique. Okay, let's name it a tractor. Tractor. A little green tractor to go faster. Uh, is it an O R or is it E R? I think it's O R. Okay, let's check out Baneri. Let's check out Baneri because she looks so good. Alright. Tractor. My oh my. 
browser froze. Okay, so naughty nature, naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> okay, it has a limber as his ability, but let me check the new sets first. Okay, so it has all the elemental punches. Fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch are all legit A moves. And the sky uppercut's a legit A move. That's actually a really nice moveset. It's like a ghetto electrifier move. I'll take it. I'll take it. What was its ability? Because now I'm... Okay, so it has klutz and runaway as its ability, and limber is its hidden ability. Which I guess it is legit... Wait, limber was its ability. Yeah. It's protected from paralysis. That's actually really useful. But yeah, Limber is a hit, is, it's a hidden ability, which uh, you can send in it. I said you can put any ability on it, as long as it's on the page, so so it's legit. Which, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the abilities now, because uh, when you guys let me or, uh, like point out the abilities in the last episode, or not the last episode, two episodes ago in the comments, so now I'm looking at them, and yeah, most of them had like weird abilities. Like, they had Draenor change some of the abilities on, uh, whatchamacallit, Kangaskhan? No, not Kangaskhan, uh, Regigigas. His, he can have pressure in this game, and then, uh, Rockhead on Velvet as well. Those are legit moves in this game, or legit abilities in this game, with the changes Draenor made. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, yeah, we got the unbox two, uh, 2. This episode's going a little longer, but I want to get all these egg hatches done before we take on the Elite Four. Okay, so row four, column one. All right, so that's legit. So row four, column one, boom. Fragile holding the toxic orb. Toxic orb. Who has guts? Someone has to have guts. This is either a Teddy Ursa or a Heracross. I want to say it's, it's going to be a Teddy Ursa to use a Guts Ursa Ring with. If it is, we're hatching a bunch of, uh, we're hatching a bunch of normal types right now. <laughs> Teddy Ursa and then a Bleary. Is this Teddy Ursa? What? <laughs> Shiny Garantina looks actually dope as, oh shoot, what was his name again? What was his name? I totally missed out his name. Shoot. <laughs> what was his name? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Whoever sent this guy. I'm not gonna give it a nickname for now. I'm gonna have to look back at this video. I'm gonna have to look at, back at this video and find out its nickname. <laughs> Cause I totally just blanked out. I just saw that toxic war. Okay, Garatina. Let's check out Generation 4 moveset in Dish Nature, which it ups special def attack. Well, I don't know what it does actually. It has Dragon Breath and Scary Face, both level 1 movesets, so it's, that is 100% legit. Okay. And it has pressure as its ability, which I think that's normal. Yeah, it is. Okay. A shiny Garantino with the Toxic Orb. <laughs> what? What's that Toxic Orb for? I don't know. I don't know the strats for a Garantino. Okay, so we have one last one to do in Box 3 now. Okay. Uh, which is our... Oh, I should be writing these down as well. Okay, so we got... Abra. Then we got Baniri, and we got Garatina. Tina Turner, which I totally blank on. I, I, I gotta look back at this video and see its nickname, and then I'll re-nickname it whenever I use it again. Um, all right, let's go into box three. And roll the dice, roll the dice. Row three, column six. Okay, I'll take that. So this is gonna be the last one. Row three, column six. Boom. We got Randy Orton. Randy Orton, RKO. <laughs> Holding TN36. Randy Orton. Is this? Uh, I want to say this is gonna be a Hitmonchan, or it should be a Tyro. If I'm gonna say anything. Oh, we're gonna take a Draco plate off of that. What the heck? Okay. 
Randy Orton. Oh, wait. Unsanitary sludge roll out the phone. May poison the target. Um. Okay, wait. Is this gonna be a crow gun? Maybe? Because it's a poison type, but it is Randy Orton, which is like a wrestler. So it should be a fighting type. Maybe a crow gun. I'm not sure. It's a viper! Oh, I I see that. That's Randy Orton's, uh. That's Randy Orton's nickname. It's like a... Oh, what was his nickname? Randy Orton the... Oh, was he? A oh, Viper? No, no, not a Viper. I know it's like snake related though. His, uh, Randy Orton's nickname. <laughs> I used to watch WWE too as a kid. That's something else you should feel uh, know about me now. <laughs> Randy Orton, RKO. Alright, so let's check its moves and see if it's legit. Alright, so Viper, the Viper, Randy Orton. It's a lonely nature, Night Slash Assurance, and Body Slam. Uh, with Shed Skin ability, which its ability is 100% legit. Okay, so it has, these should all be egg moves. Body Slam is an egg move, Assurance egg move, Night Slash egg move. Alright, so those are our egg catches now. Uh, next time, we can... Actually, okay, between this episode and next episode, I'm gonna go ahead and revive that claw fossil that we have, and then, uh, and all my Pokemon will be around level 55 or 60, depending on, uh, what the level cap is on the Elite Four. So, uh, yeah, my Pokemon will be a higher level. Uh, we'll go ahead and start our next episode hatching one last egg before hatching our final egg in the Johto region with that claw fossil and then oh we have to f choose a water type as well okay we have Squirtle and a War Turtle. what other water types do we have? <laughs> Kyogre? Well, the only water types we have are starters which actually uh, we have two Beldums too got him yeah, the only water types we- oh, we have a Psyduck. Okay, I don't know when the uh, recording cut off, but what was I saying? Uh, I was gonna- I'm gonna use Psyduck. I'm using Psyduck. Hopefully it's not the end of the lock. And... He's get all of my Pokemon to be like around level 60-ish, maybe. And hopefully <laughs> this isn't the end. Hopefully we can- we don't need any starters anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, alright, well, yep, those are the egg hatches, so yeah, next time we're gonna hatch an egg, and then we'll start out going up against the very first Elite Four member. That's all we're gonna do in the next episode. We're gonna stock up on items as well. So yeah, look forward to that next time. Oh, the Elite Four is next time? We should get hyped up. So anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, so if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to pick up that like button down below and all that good stuff, and I'll see you over so thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'll see you over in the next episode. But until then, stay safe, guys. Mm -hmm.